Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. We start off doing our same old, same old, which is just collecting our crops and we will get to watering them in a moment. Uh, one thing I want to state is that I haven't recorded another episode for this yet as I've kind of been looking over how I've edited the last couple of episodes and I kind of want to try another direction of editing so I hope you'll be okay with that. <laughs> I just want to try something different because I feel like the videos are kind of just a rinse and repeat which is kind of boring uh, and I mean I, if I'd find it boring I'd assume that you guys would too. So I will be trying a different way of editing it. I just haven't gotten around to it at the minute as I've been <laughs> backlogged with other projects that I'm trying to get done, including my uh, Minecraft hardcore projects. So I do apologize. <laughs> but we uh, decided to go through our mining trip after seeing Lewis and giving Lewis a gift. Uh, I think my main objective here is to make friends with Lewis first just because he has a lot more things that are easier to gift I suppose. There is Haley as well because I can give her daffodils but yeah I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm gonna need to start uh, putting a guide up next to me when I'm playing Stardew so I can make sure I friendship people properly. Because <laughs> I'd like to if possible for this playthrough get to a three star or three candle rating on Grandpa's Shrine, uh, which would be quite uh, cool, because I've only done it once before. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've played Stardew, but I've only got it once before, and I'd like to complete it on this series as well. I go and put our bean in our bundle, which we only have one more crop left to get, and we've completed that. I go and put some other things in the other bundles and go and see Clint so he can break my geodes for me. I then go to Gunter and go and donate what we do have. I'm trying to have like a certain way that I set things in the museum. I don't know why, it's just... I want to have it look a certain way. <laughs> I don't think I'd have the patience to make it all colour coordinated though and I have seen photos of people who do that and I think they are absolutely amazing for having the dedication for that because I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd get frustrated way too quickly. And then we do some more progress on cutting down the farm because I do, I know there's a, a, a map or like a web browser where you can customize the layout of your farm on the browser so i need to actually figure out what that is and use that as well so i can have a better direction of how i'm going to plan out my farm rather than just sort of blaseing it <laughs> and then messing up everything doing our daily sell and we have our cauliflower so that's our spring bundle completed Decided I'm going to go down to the mines again, get some stone, and progress further. Because I managed to make it to floor 5 before. <laughs> I also have no problem going down to the mines and getting more copper, because I would like to try and upgrade my equipment somewhat sooner rather than later, as I tend to get lazy enough to the fact that I don't do it until winter. We also managed to get one of the new skill books, which is quite interesting. <laughs> so I was quite excited to try that out when we got back to the house. Then we made it to level 10 and I was able to get new boots even though I literally just got some shoes that were quite new then. Here I decided to try out our book and we learnt some new stuff about foragery. So that was a quite an interesting thing. I haven't um, looked too much into all of the stuff through the update because I kind of wanted to try and experience some of it myself because <laughs> I am a stickler for looking at updates all the time and spoiling it for myself unfortunately. <laughs> So I thought, I'm going to try something different. Yeah. 
I've also cut out some footage in the fact that when I go foraging, uh, we don't see that anymore, but you'll occasionally see it in my inventory when I do drop-offs for selling or packing things away. Welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? Oh no, here we go. Ahem. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off at Trojan Mart. Well, any takers? I don't like Morris. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. But can you blame them? Jojo Corporation is a superior chain. Soon the whole town will realise that. I don't like you. <laughs> I think that's the one achievement I don't have on Stardew Valley is siding with Jojo Corp. Because I can't do it. I just can't do it. <laughs> I'd literally, if I was going to do a, an achievement run for Stardew Valley, I'd literally just create a world, like a save, where I did that very quickly and I wouldn't do anything else on it. Because I don't think I could. <laughs> I'd be so upset with myself. So we ended up getting some more things from Clint and went over to Gunsa to drop them off. I always try to make sure I drop them off when I have them in my inventory because I will forget about them if I put them away. <laughs> And I don't want to forget about them. And just like that, another day was done. I also think using that browser to organize my farm might be better for me in the fact that I can maximize profits, per se. <laughs> I mean, not that we really need to have maximized profits at this point, but I do want to try and push myself to earn more money in the first year than I normally do. Because I, I normally take the first year quite slow, so I'm trying to push myself to do better. <laughs> if anybody's got any tips and tricks on that, please let me know. I decided to go and see the merchant, and I've made sure that I've remembered to do that the last couple of times. I check what she's got. I notice that she's got a large goat milk, which I can put towards on one of the bundles. I go and drop up my quality parsnips and my goat milk. I sell anything that I've collected and I go back down to the mines. At this point, I'm wanting to get to at least level 15 so that I can push through the mines as quick as possible so I can have access to iron when I get to iron levels. It also gives me a chance to increase my fighting skill, my mining skill, and pick up items that I might need for villages or for different crafting items. I also cannot stand the little woodchitty grubs. They are very frustrating, but I can't say that they're the creature I hate the most. <laughs> At this point, I literally have nothing to eat and I'm trying to find the way down and I just don't. <laughs> I end up having a nap in the in the mines. I leveled up foraging and combat at least. Lewis, uh, Linus, sorry, decides to let me know that he found me and that somebody had taken some of my money because I had passed out. <laughs> 
I think that's our first pass out of the Stardew series so far. I went and decided to go do some fishing because I think I was waiting for Clint to open. I was. <laughs> I had a look at my inventory. And I'm trying to make sure that with this playthrough, whenever I have time to kill, so I'm not doing uh, clearing up of my farm or tending to my crops or anything, that I want to try and level up other skills. And fishing is one of those skills that I sorely neglect for a lot of my things. So I went and picked up my new axe and I dropped off my pickaxe for a copper upgrade. I got my geodes opened and I managed to have two new items to give to Gunther. I went and did some more fishing because it was raining and I thought that would be the good opportunity to get some fish that are only available during the rain. I'm also trying to push myself with this playthrough in, in the fact that when I do fishing, I want to make sure I get all the fish that are needed for the bundles in the right seasons and not just go, oh, now I'm looking for this fish and it's winter and it needs to be done in summer. Because <laughs> I have a terrible habit of that. So I'm pushing myself quite a bit to do a lot, a lot of things outside the norm for this series. I go and sell the things that I don't need to have because why keep them? <laughs> I'm also one of those people that sells rubbish early on as there's not really much need for a need for me to have it until I get a recycling machine. I then decide to go and chop down some hardwood so we can go and put it in the bundle and complete another section. Now, does anybody else in Stardew use the charcoal kiln? Because I, I don't think I've ever used it really. So I'm quite curious to see if anybody else who plays Stardew actually uses it. And if so, what, what do you do to make it so it's efficient? <laughs> I suppose would be the best question to ask for that. I go and see our lovely trader lady and I grab some extra things that I need. I go and see Gunther because I managed to dig up a wheelie worm on the way to the community center. At this point, I also realize that I have collected jam <laughs> several times or jelly at this time several times and I haven't donated it. So I have to put down a mental marker, donate it next time. <laughs> I go through and do some more foraging, clearing. And unfortunately, it looks like my editing software got corrupted here. And instead of editing it uh, to be sped up, I'm doing it quite slowly. So I do apologize. <laughs>
Do you guys like the weekly format for Stardew or would you like to do more of a fortnightly or monthly uh, version of it? As when I record, I only do a week's worth of footage. So if you guys would let me know your preference on that, that would be great. But that is our episode of Stardew Valley and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.